Mithril! I'm not sure if that was worth it. Oh well. Hey there guys, we're back once again with some more Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. I almost forgot the name of the game I was playing. <laughs> Professional Let's Player, everybody. Uh, you gotta hit the fireplace, that's an important tidbit right there. They don't teach you those kind of hints in just any kind of gameplay video. You also gotta open this chest here to get some of this uh, mithril. We're gonna make ourselves a vest like in Lord of the Rings. It's the best item in the game. Uh, anyway, it's been quite a while since I played this game last. I've been having some technical issues uh, here and there, but it's okay. I'm back now. I'm gonna go over and talk to a... Uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't play Final Fantasy games, so I have no idea what this thing is. All these years I've played Kingdom Hearts, I've never once bothered to try and figure out what exactly these things are. So anyway, we started off... We ended the last video, I should say, in uh, Traverse Town, Traverse Town. I, re I really don't know how to pronounce that word, but anyway. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I, I always, just before I go into this area here, I always feel like I'm forgetting to do something. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come back to me. Oh no, he horror movie tripped. That guy's name's Molaram, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Get it, because he he tore his heart out. Oh no, it's a It's a gang setup. You gotta defend our turf. Whoop. Nope. I may have said this in the last video, but these enemies, above all others, annoy the hell out of me because they, they do that thing where they slip into the floor and you can't hit them when they're like that, so you gotta wait for them to pop back up. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was about to say, where is... Uh, see what I mean by that? Anyway, I was like, where the hell did he go? Oh, and there's more. I don't even think I need to fight these guys, to be honest with you. I think I, think I can just skip past them, but I'm gonna do it anyway just for the experience. There you go. And also, they drop these little uh, yellow and blue bits here. That's money. Like, literally, that's what it's called. You can see there, it's money. When I was a kid, I used to, I used to think it was called mummies. It's like, oh man, I don't have enough mummy for that new, for that new uh, weapon I want. I was a simple kid. I didn't have any of them fancy book learnings. Nope. Gotta get this chest up here nope. too. If you can make nope. this. Nope. Come on, man. There you go. Nope. Ah. So sometimes that jump is a lot easier if you don't. Whoop. Nope. nope. Don't. Nah. Nope. Don't. Okay. Absolutely nothing went wrong. Gotta make sure to get those postcards because you know I, I need to send something back to my family because I'm sure at this point they're probably like completely devastated that I've just disappeared without a trace, and they're never gonna see me again. I still find that a little strange about Sora, is that he just... The fact that he is never gonna see his family again doesn't really seem to bother him all that much. He never seems to talk about it. At least not in the games that I've played. Alright, we're gonna go through the, uh, the Gizmo shop. Maybe we'll meet Gizmo Duck in there. Hmm, where is he? Leon Skinner! I just overloaded my mic so hard with that. Oh well, I'll hopefully when I normalize the audio it'll fix it. Ooh, I got a lucid shard. Now I can get into that whole lucid dreaming thing. Where'd he go? There he is. Ha ha! You can't take my key bludgeon skills! That's right, I call it a key bludgeon, because it's not really, like I said in the last video, it's not really a blade. Like, if you take a good long look at the key blade, it's 
it has no properties of a blade. Like, it's literally just a... It's basically a metal pipe with, like, a key thing attached to it. I might, I might as well be fighting with a crowbar. These guys are really good for experience early on, because there's a lot of them. And early on, you don't need a whole lot of experience in order to level up. But as the game goes on, they only give, like... I, I don't know if it changes, actually, like, if they scale up. Like, do they give more experience later on in the game? I, I, I only imagine they have to, because... If they don't, like, level up with the player, then... Yeah, as now that I think about it, I think they do give more experience. Just ignore me. There we go. Another Lucid Shard. Very nice. I have no idea what you can use Lucid Shards for, by the way. I don't do a whole lot of synthesizing in this game. On that note... I don't think I'll be getting the... the uh, what is it called? The Ultima Blade? The Ultima Keyblade in this playthrough? Because... As far as my knowledge goes, that requires so much grinding in order to get all the materials for it, and I have no idea where to start looking for them. And sometimes the materials, like, it's just a complete crapshoot whether or not you get them. Are we done now? Yeah, I think we're done. Okay, cool. I think I can come back here later to get a postcard. I think I can. I don't think I can do it yet, though, so... We might be back, we might not be. I don't know. Oh yeah, here's this thing. Kinda wobbly. Guess I can't climb it now. Well, I mean, you could. But probably break your neck. It's probably not a good idea. And we gotta go through the Dalmatian's house. Not here, either. I can't do Donald Duck to save my life. This could take a while. The 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of their world's destruction. Find them in various worlds. Aww. Oh, look at look at how sad they are. Oh, it, it always breaks my heart when I walk in here because they're just they're just so sad and devastated. It's like our children are gone. We have nothing to live for, except maybe kibble. But they're. Still, it's gonna be a hard time. Now, I'm not saying I would ever ask somebody to do it, but have any of you ever wondered what dog food tastes like? I mean, I've never been that guy who's like... who's like braved the unknown and actually tried some, but it's... it's that thing It kind of makes you wonder. Also, somebody just left two glasses of orange juice just lying there. Like, do you want, like, flies and gnats infesting your house? I didn't think so. Gotta get that cleaned up. We've already got a heartless infestation we have to deal with. Where, why do you think they come to these worlds? Because you leave food sitting out. Get out of here. What do you think you're dealing with? Do you know who I am? I am Haley Joel Osmond. That's who I am. See, it's, it's funny because he's the guy who voices Sora in the games. At least I think it is. Is it Haley Joel Osmond? Yeah, I think it is. Feel, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Oh. See? Uh, oh, another lucid shard. Huh? They're just giving me lucid shards like they're going out of stuff. There's another one. Up. Oh. You think you can hide in this water? Please, I lived on an island all my life. I know how to find things hiding in water. Open this bad boy up. What do we got? A potion. Very nice. Very nice. I don't think I can get in here yet. In fact, I'm fairly certain I can't get in here yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna try. Aha, we're back over here again. Ah. I can't wait to get the dodge roll move, because it, it makes avoiding these guys so much easier. It also makes traveling around a lot faster. Aha, I, I stabbed you with my, my lead pipe. Fear me. Oh, uh, nope. You're trying to impress me with those acrobatics? Are you kidding me? Have you seen how high up I can jump? Look at that. I'm the leapfrog champion back at Destiny Islands. Apparently so is this guy. Good grief. He got some air. Alright, so... Essentially for this bit, all you gotta do is like... Go in there, walk around for a bit, fight some Heartless, then you come back in here, fight a few Heartless. Oh, like so. 
There you go. Do you think the the uh what do they call it? The shadows? Like the the main heartless guys. Do you think they understand just how insignificant they are? Like and how irrelevant they will become later on in the game? Because right now they do present somewhat of a threat, because they can't actually do a decent amount of damage if you let them gang up on you. But later on, it's just like you know, they they're just like they're like gnats. They just they're annoying, but they can't actually do anything to you. Alright, so we just need to waltz in here, talk to Sid again. Still haven't found him? Keep your chin up. Take another look around town. What do you need? I don't think I can afford anything yet, but let's just see what he's got. Alright. Nice chin stubble, by the way. Uh, yep, as I thought, I can't afford any of this stuff. Oh, speaking of chains, uh, interesting story. I will tell it in a second, though, because... They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. Okay, ugh. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Alright, don't get your panties Never in a bunch. Now, let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. Stranger danger, I need an adult. Alright, then have it your way. Cause I'm a badass. Uh, which one of these is lock on button? I can't I can't remember which one there it is. Now this guy can very easily kick my ass early on, so. There we go. Get those technicals! I'm waiting for him to shoot a fireball, because then I can launch it back at him and get another technical. <laughs> get, get a little nick on him. It actually takes quite a bit of patience to beat this guy, because he is, compared to you, he is very strong at this point. Nope. Aha! Come on. Gotcha again! Fire that fireball, come on. Throw it at me. Show me what you got. Show me what you've got. I know you want to do it. I know you want to do it. Come on, do it. There you go. Aha! I have bested you. Oh, whoop. Woo, that was close. I saw my life flash before my eyes. He can't actually kill you, but if he beats you, then you don't get another item later on. Oh, see how much damage he does? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. And I still pass out. The hero of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Slipping, Leon. I went easy on him. <laughs> I went easy on him. Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. Yeah, when you let me beat you, you know things are going pretty rough. I'm, I'm like, what, level 5? I think he starts out at level, like, 12 or something. I don't know the exact numbers. I swear he looks like a girl. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's probably just the anime art style. Also, the original release of the game, at least in the US, this cutscene was not in the game. As evidenced by the fact that there is no voice acting because it was only in the Japanese release. To be honest with you, I kind of understand why they cut it. It's not really necessary. It's like... Yeah, it, it shows you, like... how Riku got started in this whole mess, but... it doesn't really serve any other purpose. It's not really a necessary scene. Also, was Maleficent. Gorsh, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. Too spooky. Excuse me, did the king send you? Hello, nurse. Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. Uh, five more minutes, mom. <sighs> You okay? 
Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the Keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? Oh, great. I have a crazy girlfriend. Somebody please help me. I think you might have overdone it, Squall. That's Leon. That's my goth name. The Keyblade. Yeah. We had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out that's how they were tracking you. You put it like ten feet it away from me. It was the only me. way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Yeah, that's mine. Thanks. Oh, also, Sniper well, Elite 3. I, I deleted that game. Why am I still getting sense. updates for it? Why don't you start making sense? I was running out of... What's going on here? Like, data space. Anyway, shh. Important detail. Okay. You know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah. But they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. When the Fire Nation attacked. The Heartless? The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts. That's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? What did you call me? I am Sam? He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Her hair is physically impossible. Gorge. Oh, can we see it? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered? Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We've got to find them quick. Red. <laughs> Poor Donald, he's too That's short right. for the cameras. The Keyblade. So, this is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. Which is kind of silly, because it's a pretty goofy-looking weapon when you think about it. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. <gasps> Wait a minute! What happened to my home? My island! Riku! Kyrie! You know what? I really don't know. And I really don't care. Cause I'm edgy. I swear, looking at Leon just makes me think that he probably listens to Linkin Park or something in his pitch black room. You're cool though, I like you. Also, I can't, I can't open this chest for some reason until I talk until I talk to her. I've heard that the Keyblade can open all sorts of locks. Give it a try the next time you find the treasure chest or d door lock. You mean like this one? That's just sitting in this room with a glowing lock on it? An elixir. We gotta talk to Edgelord here. Sooner or later, the Heartless will find you. You best prepare yourself. I mean, you, you can if you want. I, I don't really care if you do. Prepare myself to fight for your life. Are you ready? Well, I mean, I, I kicked your ass a second ago, so I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm ready. I'm ready! Yuffie, let's go join Aerith. She should be there by now with the other visitors. Leon! Yuffie, go! Yuffie! Sora! Let's go! This is a little extreme, don't you think? Wah, wah, wah. Don't bother with the small fry. Find the leader. Or don't, I don't really care. Let's go! Eh. I'll be right behind you, but first I gotta beat up these, uh... Tim Burton night wannabes. But how could you miss? I was like right there. Oh. Also, 
another difference from the original game, pretty much every single enemy has like a different color palette than they originally did. Which actually, <clears throat> I'm kind of a fan of. Because the, the original Heartless were kind of bland and colorless in most worlds. Man, I've really got to adjust my audio settings the next time I record. I've got a different mic setup going on right now. And so I don't have the audio balance just right yet. I don't know, let me, let me know how you guys, what you guys think about the audio when the video goes up. I keep thinking I'm hearing footsteps. Well, now I hear footsteps. Whoa! That guy didn't even have a chance to friggin' swing at me. Just backhanded him, like, pow! You always know that something important is about to happen when you walk into an area and there's no music. Gorge, are these the heartless guys? What do you think? Good job. Oh, thanks for breaking my back. And here we go! Oh, get those technicals! Ah. <laughs> How did I miss every single one of those swings? Oh. Got him! Ah, Goofy learned Rocket! Rocket Raccoon! Now this is what I mean, because this guy was not this colorful in the original game. Pom pom pom. I'm gonna start off with the hands. First, I'm just gonna sit here. Because I don't wanna get smacked. I don't wanna get bitch slapped. It's in these early fights where you really miss the scan ability. Because it, it lets you see enemy health. Which is super duper useful. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. That's one thing about the lock-on system, is that the camera does lock on, but sometimes it won't actually keep what you're locked onto in frame, which is very inconvenient. You gotta beat up his, his Nike pumps. For some reason, his feet have less health than his hands, even though they're bigger. Get back here. Pump it up and air it out. Like that. Oh, I, I, thought, I thought he was going to shoot at me. I, I kind of freaked out for a second. Oh, no. Ah. There we go. Learn scan. Yes. Ah. You're free, little heart. Fly away. Be free. Obtain brave warrior. Darn right, I got Brave Ori. Also, I just noticed that Lady and the Tramp is in the fountain. Did you notice that? So, you were looking for me? <laughs> they too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Nah, they're probably dead. Of course. Are you sure? Who knows? But we need them to come with us. You know I can hear every word you're saying. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Or if you don't, that's fine, I don't care. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. 
Understand? Ooh. No problem. No shot friends. Okay? Leon silently sneers. Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> yep. Whoa. Yes, but runs on happy faces. Happy? How dare you ask me to be happy? What do you think this is, a Disney game? Nightmare fuel! I'm surprised that's not a meme. Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Or maybe it is, and I just wasn't aware of it. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. And then Disney and Square Enix get sued by the Three Musketeers. That little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? Hi, James Woods. Such is the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? <laughs> That'll set the oh, those noises. Him. Stop it. And the brat friends of a king's lackey. Look, the eyes, they're all rats, hey guys, look, it's Captain Jack Sparrow. Prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up. Enough. The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. And Angelina Jolie. I didn't I didn't know she was in this game. Make sure you're prepared for the journey ahead of you. We don't know how far the heartless have spread. I just personally don't care. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. Check out the shops here. They've got some pretty neat stuff. This is from all of us. 500 money. Yeah, give me the cash money. Spend it as you see fit. And this is from Leon, because you emasculated him. Elixir, that's right. Good luck. I hope you find your friends. Look out for each other. Keep your spirits up. Like me. <laughs> the gummy ship is outside that gate. You can teleport to the gummy ship from save points. Open the save menu and select gummy ship. Not all save points let you board the gummy ship. The what? That's our ship! Yeah, we know, it's a stupid name. Wait till you see it! Hold on. Sora, this is for you. Attain the power of fire! Which I will more than likely rarely ever use, because I don't really use magic in this game. Now you can use magic, too! Goofy, give him that other thing. What? You know. Oh, yeah! Dodge roll. Thank you, spirits above! Activate abilities by equipping them. Some abilities are used by pressing square. Others work automatically. Equip them in the abilities menu. I sure will! Abilities allow you to do all sorts of things. Guess we should look out for them along the way, huh? Okay, is that it? Let's get going! Not till we're ready. Well, I see big adventures coming their way. Looks like it's up to me to keep track of it all in my journal. Alright! Well, before we get going, I'm gonna post this bad boy. And I got a cottage. Yeah, I don't have any more. Uh, basically, a cottage is like... It's a thing you can use outside of combat to completely fill up your health and, and mana, or magic, or whatever they call it. Hey, look at this mark! I wonder what it is. This is a trinity mark. Well, there's your answer. They appear in many places. Only the blue ones react in the beginning. Sora, Donald, and Goofy can perform various trinity moves besides these marks. And when you do, it does this. Oh, very nice. Which will then allow us to get this and another postcard. That's not the jump button. It's it's gonna happen again. I guarantee you, it's gonna happen many times. 
We got another Mithril Shard. And if I recall correctly, there's another mark right here. Gives me a crap load of money. Oh, look at all these monies! Oh man, I got plenty of money. I can probably go ahead and get Donald and Goofy their upgraded weapons. Let's see... Welcome! Are you looking to buy, or maybe you have something to sell? I'm here to shop. I want to buy... Yep, let's see. Uh, Heightens magic power... I'm gonna go with Morningstar, because I don't want to reduce Donald's Magicka. I keep calling it Magicka. And, let's see, which shield should I get for Goofy? Uh... Hmm. Small shield for attack rather than defense. A large shield that protects against various attacks. Hmm. I'm thinking Goofy's probably gonna be our tank guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and get him the stout shield. Uh, I don't want to buy another one. Well, I couldn't afford another one. Can I sell anything? Pretty stone. Do... do pretty stones do anything? I can't remember if they do or not. Before I sell anything, I better go ahead and equip the stuff that I want them to have. Equipment... Morningstar. See? There you go. And for Goofy, the Stout Shield, go ahead and give him that. Also, I'm going to go ahead and put on the Brave Warrior. Gives me more health and one more strength. Oh yeah, that reminds me, that, that story I told you I was going to tell you before I had that fight with Leon. When I first played this game, I went all the way through... Well, not all the way through, I got up like two-thirds of the way through the game, right up to the first Ansem boss fight, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, I got all the way up to that boss fight, Having not realized that I can change out my keychains and put on, like, belts and rings and stuff to upgrade my character. I had no idea you could do that. <laughs> I mean, I, I went through the majority of the game like this, and I got stuck on the Ansem fight because I just could not get past him. Which then caused me to rage quit the game for about half a year. And then I came back to the game, and playing through it again because I've lost my memory card with my old save on it, so I had to play through the whole game again. And some, for some reason, on that playthrough, I then magically realized that I could actually do all that stuff, and the game became infinitely easier. <laughs> so... Yeah, that that's one of those stories about my stupidity as a child. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get the whole gummy ship situation sorted out. And then I'm gonna fly to the first world. Wow, the loading times are so freaking fast in this version. The green cursor shows your current position. Select your next destination with the cursor. Observe the battle LV when selecting destinations. More stars mean stronger heartless in that world. Gotcha. Okay, so I don't think it matters which one of these I pick. The first world is going to be the, uh, the uh, Alice in Wonderland world, I think. But before we do that, very quick little tip for anybody who wants to play this game and not take too long in these sections, no. This is a very easy way to speed things up. <laughs> Riku sucks. I, for I forgot I did that. Oh man, <laughs> I'm such a jerk. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do something quick here to just speed up this process, if I can remember how to do anything. Uh, yep, that's how you do it. Alright, so, you may be wondering what I'm doing. Well, I'm not a huge fan of the gummy ship segments in this game. In fact, you could probably go as far as to say that I despise them, because they're very slow. They don't really add anything to the game, in my opinion, they just slow things down. So what I'm doing is I'm taking as much stuff as I can off of the gummy ship to reduce its weight and make it go faster. In fact, I don't even think you need, like, a, a gun or anything on this. I think you can get through all the gummy ship sections without firing a single shot. 
Actually, actually no, I think there are bits where you have to shoot through debris. What am I, what am I doing? There we go. Back up. So. Hmm, do I need both the engines? I don't think I need both the engines, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, I also don't need these little wing things, I don't believe. Oh, there we go. Yeah, all I need is the cockpit, an engine, and wings. I think that's all I- I think I also need a gun. I'm fairly certain I only need one engine, because an extra- the other engine just adds more weight that I don't need. Kind of like Kerbal Space Program now that I'm thinking about it. Grab this. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the gun. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. Like I said, I can't remember if I actually need it or not. I'm, I was just checking real quick to see if I had another cockpit I can use, but I don't. No. Down. There you go. <laughs> yeah, the perspective in this mode is... It leaves a bit to be desired. See? Because I would not have noticed that otherwise. Okay. I think we're good. Where'd the engines go? Where'd the engines go? What? Yeah. Well, I, I know I need an engine. There we go. All right. Yeah, I, I think that'll do it. Okay, it's saying my speed is one star. That doesn't sound right. All right, let's, let's go back in. I think there may be something. Oh, I got, I got a trophy for it. Okay. Uh, yes, I just... I, I don't want to save. I want to... <laughs> I'll be back in a second. This is going to take a while. All right, I'm, I'm done playing around with this. I, I think it's probably fast enough anyway, at least until I get better parts. So, all right, let's just go in. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I think it might actually matter because I know the Tarzan world is a two star and Alice in Wonderland is one star. So, I'll just start off with this one. We travel to different worlds on the gummy ship. The heartless ships often give us a hard time. Always be on the lookout during flight. Your journey will be documented until you reach your destination. That does not sound like something Goofy would say. Seek out the missions each world has to offer. Control the gummy ship with the left stick. Yeah, 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 I know, I know how to fly the damn thing. I got my pilot's license, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a real huge fan of these segments here. They just take up so much time. Also, the controls are inverted. Why do you do this to me? Oh, I think this is a new... See, what I want is to get, like, faster engines so I can get through these segments faster, because they're... Like I've said before, they're not all that fun, and they just... In my opinion, they just take up time. I honestly don't know why they included them. I think it was to pad out the length of the game when it wasn't necessary. Alright, hang on one second. I, I can't change the controls in here, son of a... <laughs> why do games do that? Why? Is there a... Oh no, there's, there's a break button, but there's no, like, speed up button. There is a button to turn off the UI, though. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Are the are the gummy ship se segments like an integral part of the game, or do you hate them as much as I do? <laughs> New high score, even though I didn't even try. It's one of the few things about the game that I don't like. I can't get over how quickly this game loads. Oh my. 
That is every single kid in grade school right there, early in the morning. So, anyway. I, w I was going to end it off here, but there's no save point. So, I think I'll, I'll wait until I find an actual save point. I just realized those doors don't actually have knobs. They're flat. Is there a save point in here? Nope. Oh, well, this, this is going to be a little bit longer than I anticipated. Because later on, there's a save point right there. How did he get so small? Uh, no, you're simply too big. <laughs> if you're a talking duck, why are you so surprised at this? Must you be so loud? You woke me up. <sighs> Good morning. Good night. I need a bit more sleep. Wait, Ooh. what do we have to do to grow small? Grow Why small? You try the bottle over there. That's some good grammar there, Sora. <laughs> What's next? You gonna say, can we shrink big now? There we go. I don't know why I did that. I know I need to... I need to... I need to grow big in order to push this bed in so I can go in through there. And now I can do this. There we go. Hop down. Huh. You know, I, I vaguely recall there being a heartless fight here, but I guess it's later on. Oh well. For being adorable, that's why. Your Majesty, the Queen of Hearts, presiding. This girl is the culprit. There's no doubt about it. And the reason is... Because I say so, that's why. That is so unfair. That's well, the federal court system. anything to say in your defense? If the glove does of not course. fit... I've done absolutely nothing wrong. You may be queen, but I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to be so... so mean. Oh, snap! Sweet burn! Hey guys, we should help her out. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's against the rules. Screw the rules. The court finds the defendant guilty as charged for the crimes of assault an attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Off with her head! No, no! Oh, please! Hold it right there! We're putting the Ooh, system on you? trial! How dare you interfere with my court! Excuse me, but we know who the real culprit is. Uh -huh. Society. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? Uh, Do you? Bring me evidence of Alice's innocence. Fail, and it's off with all your heads. Gather as much or little evidence as you please. Report back here once you're ready. Okay, I think, yep, here's one. Got it. Okay, we'll continue on with this charade next time. Good grief, I've, I've forgotten how much I love this game, man. Also, if you're wondering why there's a second save slot right here, uh, there were technical difficulties, as I discussed earlier, and I had to save here just to make sure that nothing went wrong with the save. But uh, luckily, I don't think that's going to happen again, so I'm just going to go ahead and save right here. There we go. Alright, so 
Hope you guys are enjoying the game so far. I know I am. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And until then, see you guys later.